Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of HIP. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Wake Up Call for Monday, August 15th, 2011. 22 more fake Apple stores have been found in China. That's in addition to the two that were recently shut down. Even the employees were shocked to find out they weren't really working for Steve Jobs. A gust of wind is to blame for a deadly stage collapse that killed five people at the Indiana State Fair waiting for a Sugar Land concert to start. President Obama's approval ratings have hit an all-time low. Tim Pawlenty is out, Texas Governor Rick Perry is in, and Michelle Bachman has drawn the straw poll winning ticket. Let the GOP race for president begin. Judge Perry has ruled Casey Anthony needs to get her butt back to Orlando and start serving probation for check fraud and ID theft. Congrats to Boston rookie Keegan Bradley for winning the PGA Tour in Atlanta. It's his second big win of the year. If you were on a recent flight from Madison, Wisconsin to Atlanta and you shared airspace with a stowaway bat, the CDC wants to chat with you. Just a precautionary rabies matter in case you were bit. Busy weekend for celeb marriages. Joy Behar married her longtime BF of 29 years. Sherry Shepard also tied the knot and so did Brooke Burke saying I do. Word has it Austin Powers 4 is a go-go. Mike Myers is either bored or in desperate need of cash. And Planet of the Apes managed to hold off the help for a second straight win at the box office with $27 million in change. Opening this weekend, Anne Hathaway in one day. Fright Night with Colin Farrell. Conan the Barbarian in 3D and Spy Kids in 4D. That's 3D with smell of vision scratch and sniff cards. Parents rejoice. That is your Monday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.